So I just thought I'd let y'all know that I'm, I'm outstanding in my field. The fine people over at Ulanzi or Ulanzi or Lanyard, I don't know, uh, they sent me this flexible tripod. So disclaimer, they did send it to me for free. So they sent it to me so I could make a review on it, but I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna let you know what I think of it and we're gonna actually open it up right now and we're gonna run it through its paces and start testing this thing right here and right now. Okay, anyway, uh, we've got uh, one of these little keys, Allen keys. Uh, I have no idea what that's for. Uh, we'll find out, I'm sure, and then I'll have to go looking for it. And then next we've got packed up in this beautiful Apple-esque box, the tripod itself. And it is snug in there, I'll tell you that. Aha, there it is. There's the tripod, folks. Okay, first impressions. Uh, this thing is solid. I mean, this is all metal. This is, oh yeah, that feels good. This is all, this is high quality. It even has a little rubber gasket on that. I love this. It's, it's got an attachment for something. And, uh, and there's the top plate. Look at that. That's awesome. Okay, let's get this rigged up with a camera and see how it works. I can figure out how to put this back on. Okay, the user error. Uh, so, trust me, it's good. Uh, okay, let's get a camera on this thing. All right, the sun came out and so did the Sony. So we're gonna grab this little tripod and get the little plate off. You just push that button in and it slides right out. Uh, and then we're going to grab the plate. Uh, it should go that way. And can't find a penny, so obviously we use a knife. Got it. All right. No blood, it's a success. Okay, now I gotta find the tripod. There it is. And it's on. Simple as that. Uh, you can even lock it by pulling out this little thing and lifting it up so you can't accidentally push it and have the have the camera fall off. That would not be very good, would it? So we can just flip that out, bend the legs a little bit, make sure everything's tight. <laughs> that would probably be good. And aha, and there we go. And now, I am vlogging. Okay, so we know that it works just fine with this camera. Let's straighten the legs out again. Nice and easy. Awesome. And you can just loosen this and adjust this little ball. It's a nice metal ball in here. And like this, this whole head is like all made of metal. I love it. It, it's weighted, it's smooth, feels really good. You can, you can just turn this like that and just lay it down like that. Lock it down. Well, it's a little heavy. You've got to adjust the legs a little bit. Get its center of balance a little lower. There we go. Now it's portrait mode. Then just put it back. Perfect. Okay, so we know it works with this, but I think we can go bigger. All right, off with you. Ugh. Oh, I'm very strong. Here, give me that. Okay, so. This is a little bit bigger. So 
I think this tripod plate will be perfect. One moment. Shouldn't be this hard. All right. Now we just need to simply slot it on and we're good. Uh, satisfying click. Lock it because that might be a good idea. And make sure everything's nice and tight. All right, there we go. See if the legs can hold the weight of a cinema camera. Very stable. All right, well, I mean, that'll get the job done, honestly. Well, it's a little less slippery. Okay, uh, but now it's time for the real test. It's time. Aha, yes, it's working. It's a vlogging red, whoa. My arm could definitely last an entire vlog doing this. Yep. Okay, enough of that. Okay, quick disclaimer. We do not recommend that you mount your expensive cinema camera to this tripod. We have simply proven that you can, not that you should. This is the time. All right, so first impressions, this thing is a beast. Somehow it's been managing, I mean somewhat managing, this massive camera here, but uh, it's, okay, how do we get this off? Okay, there we go. But yeah, it's honestly, it's honestly doing really well. I mean, look how big that is. But yeah, obviously this thing is not made for carrying these. This is huge and very heavy, and you need much bigger tripods for it. This is made for holding, like, the Sony that I had on there. That's a little Sony a7S III. Perfect for vlogging. This thing is awesome. So I have a different one. It's like a little cheap one from Amazon, and it's mostly plastic. The heads kept breaking. Uh, eventually, the legs started to like separate right here. Really annoying. This thing is hefty and solid and solid metal. It looks awesome and it feels awesome. First impressions, this is an awesome little tripod. Definitely recommend it. I'm gonna make a long-term review. I'm gonna put this through its paces, uh, travel around with it, explore, see what it can do and see how long it lasts. I wanna thank the fine folks at Ulanzi or Ulanzi or however you pronounce it. I wanna thank them for sending me this awesome little tripod and I hope you all liked this review. If you liked it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You can see more weird stuff like this. And yeah, subscribe if you wanna see the long term that I'm gonna do uh, probably in a long time. So subscribe and stay subscribed, don't unsubscribe. Okay, bye. So, I almost forgot this little thing, uh, it's a little Allen key, and honestly, I don't know what it's for. I didn't need it, so I'm guessing it's for something.